Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Since I started this channel yesterday, I thought maybe what a good first video would be is how I made all the channel branding. And I'm not a graphic designer, I'm not a motion designer, but I managed to get pretty far with Canva just to make some simple stuff. I hope you find the content useful and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we need obviously is a logo. Everything will stem from that core theme throughout the whole branding. Canva makes it super easy to design a logo. I have a bunch of presets. I kind of like this preset, which was kind of like a space type theme. I like the font, but I wasn't a huge fan of these stars. So what I did was within Canva, I just like searched globe and I found this other planet graphic, which I threw behind the core sort of font from this theme. And that was starting to work, but I wasn't a huge fan of the space in here. So what I did was I kind of enlarged that, put it into a circle. We're trying to get something that's gonna fit within this YouTube cropped circle, which we have here. I mean, you can load a square, but just make sure your graphic fits within that predefined circle crop. So what I did was I kind of decided to can this planet with a ring around and I wanted just a core font, added this simple glow behind it, and that was it. That was my logo. Nothing crazy, but yeah, I kind of like to, with Canva and with making logos and things, is start with some inspiration, but then make it original, you know? Don't use everything that's in the core graphic. I mean, you can if you want to, but I'm just a fan of kind of swapping things out and making it my own. Yeah, so that's the logo. Okay, next up, we need to obviously make the channel banner. On your YouTube channel, you have the logo and then you have a banner. That's what the banner looks like. Again, Canva has a YouTube channel banner template, which is pretty cool. And I just copied and pasted the core sort of font. And then I actually decided to use that other planet thing from earlier here, just to mix it up a little bit. Kind of just added it and kept shrinking the size of the stuff over here, just so that it fits within this crop. For some reason, YouTube wants these dimensions, but they kind of crop it anyway into this. So just make sure that whatever you do on here fits the crop afterwards. Cool, so that's the channel banner, logo, done. Next up, we gotta do thumbnails. So with thumbnails, again, Canva has this whole thumbnail template library, which is pretty cool, but I wanted something just a little bit more basic and chilled. Just went for kind of adding the logo, bringing in that font, and then this kind of PNG backgroundless snapshot of me just from the video. So yeah, what's quite cool is when I make the next video, I'll just duplicate this, move stuff around, and yeah, I'll just keep doing that for I guess all the rest of the videos. Okay, the last thing I made was this intro outro animation thing, which is pretty cool. What I did first was I went to this site called Upbeats. It's quite cool. They have a bunch of royalty free music for YouTube and stuff. So I just filtered by lo fi. Quite like this song, kind of worked with the animation I made. And how I made that animation was again in Canva. I'm not a motion animator. Drag the graphics in. And what's quite cool is you set it up as a video project on Canva. You can highlight the content. And over here, you'll see this animate action. They have a bunch of cool like preset animations. You can choose like whatever fits your your vibe. I went for this neon animation which is kind of cool because it has that static element which fits the sort of lo-fi theme. Yeah you can string together different frames so I just made this like three plus four second intro. Okay then bringing it all together I just put the lo-fi beat and this Canva exported video into iMovie. I'm using iMovie at the moment because I don't need anything fancy right now for these videos. I'll probably switch to Final Cut Pro when I need to get a little bit more technical with them. Cool so that's the end of that video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Next week I'll be putting out some products and engineering focused videos which I'm excited about and thanks for watching. Chat soon.